Today we're going to talk about the power of your ABCs. Yes, a lot of time in life we want to be able to succeed in life and we want to be able to be helped. We want to be able to go from point A to point B. But we can't get there because there are key things we as an individual have to be responsible for. If someone is not willing to, be, uh, to accept help, you cannot help them. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do in terms of giving them the help that they need. If they have not come to the point where they're screaming out or they're saying, I need help and I'm willing to accept help and I'm willing to take all the help that I am going to get. I'm willing to make all the steps that I need to make and all the sacrifices that I need to make in order to help myself. It cannot work. It cannot work. And that's where the power of your ABCs come in. First of all, you have to admit, A, you have to admit that you have a problem. If you do not admit that you have a problem, then you can't deal with a problem. You see, you first have to admit, I have a problem. I have a situation. I have an addiction. I have a struggle that I'm going through. I have an issue that I'm dealing with, and I have a problem. So you're admitting that you have a problem. The second thing you need to do is B, believe that you can overcome that problem. Having admitted the problem, believe that you can overcome that problem. Believe that with the washing of your mind, getting rid of stinky thinking, getting rid of old false notion, building yourself, working on your self-esteem, working and accepting the person that you see in the mirror, that you are able to move forward. You're able with every step that you take forward, you're able to move out of the hole that you're in and rise up out of that pit to a point where you can thrive. You have to be able to believe. And then uh, point number three, C, you have to cultivate keystone habits. You have to cultivate keystone habits. That means if you have a bad habit, you have to be replace that bad habit with a good habit. I'll use an example. You are a chain smoker and you want to quit smoking. You don't just try to quit smoking and then not do, replace it with something else. You might say, you know what? I am going to quit smoking, but I'm going to replace that with going to the gym four times a week at X time for X amount of time. And I'm going to also um, replace it with changing my eating schedule and I'm going to eat healthier. As I eat healthier and I go to the gym, one of the things that I'm chopping out is smoking. Each time I have the urge to smoke, I am going to work out or I am going to eat healthy. And as you do that over a duration of time, that old habit is replaced by a healthy habit. Something that you can do, something that's doable, something that will build you, something that will grow you. The problem the problem a lot of times that we have is that we try to eradicate negative habits, but we do not cultivate keystone habits. We do not cultivate positive habits to take their places. I like reading. And because I like reading, I use reading to build my self-esteem because I don't read any and anything. Anything I read has to be about business, um, uh, personal development, uh, motivational, or educational. And that's all the, the genres that I read in. And because of that, each time I read, I build that massive bank, that massive repertoire of knowledge that I have instilled within me. And also because of that too, my knowledge base increases and hence my confidence increases. That's why I'm able to sit and speak the way I'm speaking. I'm able to answer questions the way I answer questions because there's quite a bit of water in that well that I could dig from. 
the more I read, the more I put into personal develop every day, is the more I build me. The more I build me, is the more I'm confident with who I am. The more I'm confident with who I am, the better I am to help others. Because I truly realize that I am blessed for one sole reason, and that is to be a blessing to others. So that's the power of my ABCs. So as you go out there today, remember, you have to A, admit that you have a problem. Then B, believe that you can overcome the problem with action steps. And C, cultivate keystone habits. And as you cultivate those keystone habits, those habits will take you to the point where you will be thriving. So let's thrive together and have an awesome growth day. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below. Hit the subscribe button below. I'll add also in the notes section below, I'll add an awesome book that I read on the cultivating keystone habits, which you can order and you can also read too. And I hope it will benefit you as much as it benefited me. God bless you.